So what is neuroplasticity and why is it important for Gen Z to understand? So neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to reorganize and adapt itself by forming new connections. The brain is actually very fluid, it's flexible. Imagine like a big piece of plasticine, you know, it's it's able to to kind of move and adjust to situations, learn from experiences and heal from injuries. A really good example is you may have heard people who were told after an accident that they'll never be able to walk again, but by some miracle, they are eventually able to walk again. And that is down to neuroplasticity. So another way of thinking about it is a bit like a city map. You know how in a city's infrastructure, you've got roads, bridges, pathways, and all these kind of things that connect us to different areas of the map. It changes and adapts over time to meet the needs because you might build new things, move another, um, you know, if there's a, um, a road closure, you redirect traffic and, and that improves the efficiency and the flow and connectivity. And that's just like what the brain can do. Um, if something is damaged, there will be new paths, new detours to create this idea that things keep flowing. Um, so, you know, your brain literally reorganizes itself to be able to find new ways to do tasks or evolve to be able to get the most effectiveness out of it itself. And in relation to Gen Z, is this predicated on environment? And could we say that Gen Z's neuroplasticity, their brain development could be affected by technology and by social media? Is that safe to say? I would agree. Yeah, no, it's, it's really important for Gen Z to understand that our lifestyle certainly does have an influence on our neuroplasticity. Um, so, for example, technology, you know, let's take social media, for example. In fact, let's be really specific. Something like TikTok, you know, we're constantly absorbing information in really short 60 minutes, 60 seconds, sorry, 60 seconds snippets. So our brain's starting to adapt to quick information and super different information, which then could start to impact our attention span, our depth of focus, our mood, our motivation, because of the environment that it's in or that we're putting in. So you're right, it is very much adaptable to the environment for sure. And uh, mm -hmm. we're talking about impact on attention span, but could we also go as far to say that if an eight or 15 year old is consuming TikTok, you know, for hours a day, that it's not impacting their attention span, it's kind of creating their attention span to be six seconds. And those will have downstream effects on critical thinking, focus, the ability to perform in education. Is it like, what do you think about this fiasco that's unfolding as we speak? Absolutely. I, I There's evidence that shows that social media use in particular has been linked to traits of lack of um, ability to focus for longer periods of time, att shorter attention spans. Um, and so I would I would agree that actually if we're getting young people in particular during the phase of their brain development used to the constant short and and also really variable it's a bit like having too many tabs open right you're you're constantly looking at different devices and different pieces of information very quickly it is going to adapt that person's brain or or you know create their attention span as you as you rightly said um so the brain doesn't fully develop until it's about 25 so it's something that I would be particularly conscious of until that brain has fully developed.